Good morning, folks. Several things to discuss today. Ongoing solar storm. More on the way. Top science news. Last night's special video and the big change at suspiciousobservers.org. Starting with our star, four filaments erupted yesterday. None in spectacular fashion, but the one near center disk is likely to have produced a CME that is coming our way. It's not a big one, but it is the first CME in a while aimed at Earth. You can see its effect on the surrounding corona as it lifts and releases. The coronagraph images are not yet updated, but full CME analysis will come tomorrow. Meanwhile, as mentioned, when the phi angle flipped, a strong coronal hole stream was likely on the way and it arrived yesterday evening, surging plasma speed in the solar wind to nearly 700 kilometers per second and producing a level 2 KP6 geomagnetic storm which has persisted at level 1 since the onset. It will likely have waned back by the time the small CME arrives on Wednesday. More potential eruptive areas across most of our star will have eyes on them. Following up our lightning story from several days ago, that fire at the Cuban oil facility was indeed caused by lightning. Pretty powerful strike. Up next, we're looking at the dynamo of Jupiter. This one describes a dynamo driven by nearly the entire planet, not just the core, but more importantly, noted that its magnetic secular variation is on the same time scale as Earth's, implying that deeper magnetic interconnectedness across the solar system. Top article in the journals hits Earth's field, and they noted the highest historical magnetism results at mid-latitude, rather than the polar region. They suggest a long-lived, non-axial dipole is responsible, or in other words, the magnetic poles weren't where they are now, and they weren't focused on the polar region. For most observers who have been tracking the ongoing geomagnetic variation here for years, and studying the past events, yes, that's a bit obvious. Indeed, the poles don't stay where they are over these long time scales, and this is why the paleo intensity measurements from Israel and Hawaii are the highest, despite there being nowhere near the magnetic poles we've known in our lifetimes. And yes, that is the situation we are once again moving towards now in the modern magnetic pole shift. Did you watch last night's video? I hope so. From the comments, it seems to be one of the viewer favorites among all the videos we've ever made. USA Today fact checker stumbled into our territory and is probably not so happy she did. Top recommendation today if you missed it last night. Last but not least, folks we have been discussing this coming for months. The coming changes to how we operate and suspiciousobservers.org is now officially the portal for all things in observer world. More items are going to be added, but the core is there. From YouTube to books and merchandise, Observer Ranch, Big Burp, free resources, and the legacy membership videos, it's all there. Still doing deeper looks in the weekend podcast here a few more weeks, but now there's also something new. Do you have a question? Want to see a video on a specific topic? Use the contact form on the bottom of the home page. Pick your category and ask your question, and we'll pick the best ones to turn into videos here on YouTube. Not all questions will be selected, obviously. Many will never receive any response at all. But we said the website was transitioning from a paid membership platform to a hub, a nexus. And here's how you can impact the more YouTube videos we also said we were wanting to make as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch last night's special video if you missed it. Check out the new look to suspiciousobservers.org. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.